welcome back to Master Bridge. We're now two thirds of the way through the competition and we have three joint leaders, Jeremy Flint, Rixie Marcus and Martin Hoffman, all on 21 points. Close behind on 17 points come Omar Sharif, Jane Friday, Robert Sheehan and Irving Rose. And last at the moment with 13 points is Ia Mahmoud. Sammy Kahila is here again to help analyze the bidding and play of the hand. Sammy. Declare the contest is still wide open. Don't forget that, as well as a first prize of £5,000, there's a runner-up prize of £2,000. In addition, there's a brilliancy prize of £1,000, which Nicola and I will be awarding to the contestant making one or more particularly fine plays. And there are already several contenders for that prize. Let's see if there will be any more after this hand. North, South are vulnerable. The dealer is East, Jane Friday. Playing with Martin Hoffman against Rixie Marcus North and Omar Sharif South. Well, Jane and Martin are probably playing a weak no trump. And it's possible they might regret it. One no trump. Pass. Oh. Omar's passed. I find that curious. So do I. North South have possibilities for game in spades and no trump. But it's it's a re refreshing to see people playing a natural system here, isn't it, ah, Sammy? Yes. Two diamonds well, is natural and not well, showing yes. a, a, a transfer bid. Yes. Yeah. Two spades. Well, well, Omar has come to life. The question is, can Rixie play him to have a good hand, having Pass. passed initially? Yes. Mm -hmm. She thinks that he is balancing, that is, bidding some of her cards, knowing that she must have some when the opponents have stopped at the low level. Yeah, I mean, Omar would, would, would bid two spades here without the King Jack of Diamonds. Yes. His, his hand is eminently reasonable for two spades. Now what is Jane thinking about, do you reckon? She's thinking, well, perhaps Martin may have something if the opponents can only stop I in think, two spades. Uh, she's thinking of, as we say, dialing a penalty. <laughs> <laughs> She does bid three diamonds, she may regret it. No, she's a cautious bidder. She's not going to bid three diamonds. Three diamonds. Whoops. Quite right. Three hearts. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> she has given North South another chance. Three spades. <laughs> hearts. They're not grasping it. Martin leads. The speed of light. <laughs> Martin is delighted to be defending a fast yes, score with yes, his hand. Yes, yes, he can't wait. <coughs> well, I think this is a good hand for the weak no trump, Sammy. I think to have your opponents out of game Ten with those cuts. values, not to lose a penalty, I think it's A1. Yes, the only question, uh, Nicola, of course, is that is four spades makeable? Five. Nothing can happen to three spades. The only question is whether Omar can make four against the best defense of three rounds of clubs. <coughs> of course, Jane doesn't know that Omar has such a good hand, and she might shift to a diamond now. Well, she knows that Omar is 5-4. Yes. For certain. Right. Now, on she the club lead, <coughs> it's either 3-1 or 2-2. Two, two. She might, she might feel that if Omar is 5-4-2-2, that if she releases the ace of clubs, uh, he might be able to <coughs> discard a diamond on the third club. She might think it's imperative she to shift to a, a diamond. might need a low club, or she might switch to a low club, gambling on partner having a singleton. Anyhow, all these thoughts are going through her mind. And it's certainly <coughs> a lot easier for us than for, what, than for her. Uh, as seeing all four hands, the best player is a club. There's no... But on the two-handed, on a 26-card basis, the diamond shift is correct, and she's found it. Now Omar has a chance for a free finesse in diamonds. On the other hand, he doesn't want to play the jack in case it loses jack the queen. Well, he's taken that yeah, chance. Man. If the jack had been covered by the queen and ace, he might have lost an entry to the dummy, and that might have made things awkward if the trumps had been, say, four and one. I think he feels the contract is slightly secure. Yes, and he's king of diamonds. 
Uno y dos brazos. Yes, I think he's going to make four now. King of spades. Five of spades. Eight of spades. Seven. You can draw trumps now and just concede a club. Five of clubs. Mm. And even if, if Jane ducks the club, Seven. which is probably her. Well, he's left a trump outstanding, but that's not dangerous yet. No, I think he, he's drawn. Oh, there's one, one with these two. But it doesn't matter because uh, West has no yeah. trumps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's had to leave that outstanding because he has no quick entry to the dummy. Martin, of course, is right about defeating three spades. But how about four? If Jane had continued clubs, forcing Omar to rough the third round high, three rounds of trumps, two top clubs, and a diamond finesse leave this four card ending. If West discards a ten of hearts blanking the queen, Omar will make his jack by force. If West discards a diamond, North discards a heart and East is in difficulties. If she throws a diamond, Omar can overtake the king with the ace and score the eight. If on the other hand she lets go a heart, Omar can cash the king of diamonds and lead a heart to East's now blank ace, who must give the last trick to dummy's ace of diamonds. So, even against best defense, four spades is makeable by careful play. But first, of course, you have to reach that contract. Over then to the other four players. The dealer is East. Is not. Irving Rose, playing yeah. with his regular partner, or one of his regular partners, Robert Sheehan, against Zia Mahmoud North and Jeremy Flint South. One no trump. Now Jeremy's going to double this, isn't he? Either that, or perhaps, or do they play some sort of a takeout? No, break? he's going to double. Two thirds. No. <laughs> well, Jeremy is an old rubber bridge player who's going for the honors. Now, North might. North might suggest no trump, actually. Four spades. No, no, he's not. Well. There you are. Pass. 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 In the other room, um, where the contract was only three spades, West started out with the nine of clubs. But East did not play three rounds of clubs because they're only defending against a nine-trick contract. Here, if West leads a nine of clubs, the defense would be more obvious to East. I think West is bound right. to lead a club, to be fair. Nine of clubs. Yes. There we are. He right, did it quite usual. quickly, too. Zia That's is fast by, by Robert's standards, I promise you. <laughs> Zia is laying down his dummy proudly. He has nothing to, to be ashamed of, certainly. He'd be, I think he'd be disappointed if, he, if Jeremy doesn't make ten tricks. Jeremy, on the other hand, is looking at the possibilities of two club losers and two heart losers and wondering what he can do about that. At first, East West have to play three rounds of clubs. King, six. six. Well, Jeremy's trying to persuade Rose that his partner may have three clubs to the nine, eight, and five. And perhaps he will discontinue clubs. Uh, in which case, Rose might think that he might need to set up two diamond tricks by shifting to a diamond. I think that Rose will work out, unless he's, his two clubs are standing up, there's no, there's no chance of beating the contract. I think he'll defend on that assumption. Well, is it possible that his partner could have three clubs and king nine to four diamonds? <coughs> it's very specific, isn't yes, it? It's it much is. more likely to be a, a doubleton. Besides which, Jeremy's overcall vulnerable against naught. He must have the King of Diamonds. Queen of Diamonds. Yes. Well, you see, Wait. things are not as obvious oh, to see. the players at the table as we as it is to us seeing all f all 52 cards. 
If it seems terribly obvious to you at home for Irving to continue clubs, remember that the players can't see all the hands. From Irving's point of view, if his partner had the king of diamonds instead of the queen of hearts, then he must shift to diamonds at once before declares diamond losers disappear on dummies clubs. Yes, sir. He's going to make this now, yes. Sonny, isn't he? Yes, sir. Jeremy's just thinking whether he can risk a second round of trumps and then a club. Good, sir. Yes, he, he, he can in fact risk three Five. rounds yes. of trumps yes. and then a club, yes. can't because he? Because he knows East where can't the club go. is. Quite yes. right. He's at his home, home and dry. Well, perhaps it was a difficult hand to defend. Yes. In a way, um, Omar and Rixie are going to be unlucky to yes. lose on this hand yes. because they've stopped out of not a very good game. And uh, next door, the game was in fact let through the way the defence went. If Rose doesn't catch the ace of hearts now, he'll lose it. Yeah, hearts rough. Yeah, it would have been an amazing hand. Yeah. 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 Yeah the dealer is West, Martin Hoffman, playing with Jane Friday against Rixie Marcus North and Omar Sharif South. One no trumps. We play weakest. A restrained pass by Mrs. Marcus. Well, Jane's got a clear cut three no trump bid here. Nothing to think Three about, no really. Pass. 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 Five of spades. Right. <laughs> Club lead would have been best for the defense, <coughs> but the, certainly the spade lead is the normal lead on the north hand. South will probably seven. play the... T oh, South has played the seven. I was forecasting he'd play a low yeah, one to show three here. Now, Martin, Martin is saying to himself, the contract is cold if the diamonds are 3-2. Three, are three, 68% of the time. Uh, yeah, 68% of the time. Therefore, he must... Yes. yes. Well, what he's done now is he's unblocked the three. spades. Let's count Martin's certain tricks in this contract of three no trumps. Three spades on the lead, two clubs, and three diamonds. That makes eight, plus two more if the diamonds break, but they don't. And in setting up the fifth diamond, he's got a problem of communications. If he plays four diamonds out to establish the fifth, he cuts himself off from his king of spades. But if he caches the top spades first, when the opposition get the lead on the fourth diamond, they can take two spades and three hearts before Martin can get onto his long diamond. Small diamond. Two. Two. Well, he's made yes. a, he's made a fine safety play in case the diamonds had been four, were four one and they are. This way, he can enjoy both the long diamonds and the king of spades in his hand. Martin's solution was simple. He merely gave up a diamond early to maintain communications. Now, if the defense found the most awkward shift of a club, he was still safe for nine tricks. He can return to the ace queen of diamonds, cash the king of spades, and cross the dummy with a second club to make the remaining two diamonds. Four Had he one. played off the ace queen of diamonds before, he would not have been able to score his king of spades. Or if he had scored his king of spades and then given up a diamond trick, mm. the defense would have had enough tricks and hearts and spades Three. to beat him. A well played hand. Well played <coughs> hand and very briskly, too. Yes. 
again. Well, Martin never does anything slowly. It'll be the hard back. Three note drum? Yes. No, no, you'll be next three hard tricks and we make the. Uh, a bit and made by Hoffman and Jane Priday in fine style, 600 points to east-west. That's just the kind of rapid efficiency which has put Martin Hoffman in the lead in this tournament. Now let's see how the England pair, Sheehan and Rose, managed the hand against Jeremy Flint and Zia Mahmood. Pass. Yes, in the other room, Martin Hoffman Pass. opened a weak note drum. One diamond. Pass. Here, Sheehan did One not heart. decide that his hand was not worth it. One straight. Two clubs. Pass. It's completing a, a picture of his hand. It's Three no trump. Five and four in diamonds and clubs. Pass. 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 Well, the north-south, the, the interference by Zia has not in any way impeded east-west okay. in reaching the best contract. However, is it possible now that Zia may not lead a spade in view of the fact that she had been such a confident 3 0 trump after his spade intervention? Would yeah. Four clubs. Yes, well, Zia has, has uh, started out very well for the defense. He's avoided giving Declare his third spade trick. And now uh, Sheehan really has his work cut out for him. He has two spades and two clubs and three diamonds. And he, will, he needs either the diamonds to break 3-2, which will give him nine tricks, or if they don't, somehow contriving a, another trick in, uh, in one of the majors. It's going to be an interesting hand. Martin Hoffman, uh, when he had the spade lead in the other room, had it easy. Yes. He had nine sure winners, provided he played them in the right order. Yes, he showed he showed good technique, but uh, certainly his task was was facilitated by the spade lead, which was perfectly normal on the bidding in the other room. Here, Zia had the in the had the influence that uh, East West were well healed in spades, and that he had better try some other tack. Yes, and Jeremy is the first person to raise to two spades with a, an honour to three here. Two hearts. Well, eight. Queen. Sheehan is six. Ah. Whoops. Now that is a play that we did not. No, well, we he did not think he about. played the Queen of Hearts very confidently, with, and with now Nazir was was a bit clever in yes. a way. He was convinced he must have the King Queen of Hearts. Eight. A remarkable circumstance Four. here. Sheehan yes. played the Queen of Hearts with the air of a man who had the King yes. Queen. Yes. And Zia made the normal expert duck with yes. that holding, trying to persuade Two Declare to continue. Two spades. Two spades. Five of diamonds. Yes, he has ducked a diamond. Nine of diamonds. The ten dollars trick. And now there's no way the defense can beat him. No. If they need a club, he can come back to his diamond and take his four diamonds, two clubs, two spades, and the natural heart trick I mean that the, he scored. The heart to the queen was a marvelous shot, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It certainly didn't occur to, no. to didn't occur to us over here. No. <laughs> which goes to show you that sometimes somebody can play better looking at twenty six cards than we can playing with fifty two. And in fact, he did it very quickly, didn't he? Yes. He did it so quickly that uh, it was a, a sort of a psychic play. Zia was uh, lulled into a false sense of security, convinced yeah, he had the King Queen Jack. of Hearts. All of which proves, I don't, not, a, not uh, about you, uh, but as far as I'm concerned, that old bridge players never die, they just become commentators. <laughs> Eight of clubs. Eight of clubs. Declare that trick. Six of diamonds. Ten of diamonds, queen of diamonds. Sheen has certainly pulled something off here. Five of spades. Declare that trick. And Zia knows it Nine too. Of Eight of spades. Eight. Eight of spades. Well, Robert's uh, showing all Three his goodies, yes. so of yes. course he knows. He knows, he knows everything. <laughs> he knows he's been had. Yes. 
<laughs> I'm sure bridge players aren't meant to laugh. <laughs> Mind you, it's very. Pl you've got to get up very early to to put one past the Mahmoud, yes, haven't you, indeed, Sammy? Yes. Well, look, has he potential for an over trick here? Zia's he got all the cards. He's got to hold the clubs. He's sort of blocked up in hearts. He's going to have to let go of the ace of hearts here soon. Robert's brilliance in slipping through that heart queen is now about to pay real dividends. Zia is guarding three suits, the clubs which he cannot discard, the hearts because he still suspects Robert has the king, and the spades. And if he assumes Robert has the king of hearts, he can't on the bidding also have the king of spades. The queen of hearts has so thoroughly deceived Zia that it may earn Sheehan two extra tricks. Queen of clubs, declare Seven of diamonds, five of hearts, four of hearts. I think he's got to let go of the ace of hearts now, he's in trouble. Ten of spades, declare it. Oh, now he's going to drop the spades. If he drops. Six of spades, seven of spades, king of spades, oh. queen of spades. Ten seven tricks, six. brilliant play. Jack of spades, jack of hearts. Well, there you are. Clubs. <laughs> In the other room, Hoffman was favored with a with the lead of a spade, which gave him three spade tricks, and he wound up with nine. In this room, Sheen got the worst lead for his side of a club, and he emerged with ten tricks, and he certainly deserves that glass of water. That extra 30 points for the over trick wins the board for Sheen and Rose, and also, of course, for Rixie and Omar. Rather a disappointment for Martin after his good play. Robert, that play of a low heart to the Queen really impressed Sammy and I. What, what made you try it? Well, it was just an extra chance that Zia holding the ace or the king over the Queen wouldn't take the trick. Because usually if players play a suit like that early in the hand, they've got a pretty good holding in the suit. And uh, it, is, it is in fact technically correct in many instances for him to duck in that position. Right, and in fact it must have been extra pleasing to, to get that over him because he's a bit of an arch rival of yours, isn't he? Well, he's, uh, I play a lot of tournament bridge with him and he's sort of rather affectionate contempt for the way I play the cards, <laughs> so it was quite um, <laughs> pleasing, yes. Mm. Tell me, you also play a lot of backgammon. How do you find bridge and backgammon combined? People who play bridge usually can play backgammon pretty well, but people whose first game was backgammon are not, don't find it so easy to make the transition back to bridge. I, th I think bridge is a more extensive game. It's not more difficult, but there are more things to learn in bridge. But it's the same sort of attitude of mind that's required uh, in, bo in both games. Uh, is, is there more of a luck element in backgammon? Sort of it's all on the dice? Well, but in rubber bridge or money backgammon, in the, in the short run, there is a large amount of luck, yes. Um, in the long run, I mean, in both games, the, best, the better players come out on top. I would say, actually, in backgammon, the better players come out on top rather more quickly than they do in rubber bridge. Right. Thank you very much, Robert. And again, a session ending with two points for each player, leaving Rixie, Jeremy, and Martin locked in the lead with 23 points. Omar, Jane, Robert and Irving with 19 and Zia with 15. And with only four sessions to go, all the players are still in contention. So join us for the next session of Master Bridge.